week into rebuilding the wall. Looks like we are making some real progress. This is so exciting that we get to help build the wall. This is very exciting indeed. Let's work hard and do our best to rebuild our assigned section of the wall. Yeah, everybody is working with their sons and we're the only girls working on the wall. We gotta prove ourselves and build the best wall ever. Hey, it's okay. Just do whatever we plan and be confident in yourself. No need to prove anything to anyone. That's true, father. Every time someone tries to prove themselves, they do something that's not so smart. While we're working, can we go through the history of the walls of Jerusalem again? Sure thing. Jerusalem is the city where King David lived and worshipped God. Many years after King David, an enemy nation called Babylon took over Jerusalem and destroyed it. Yeah. The Babylonians tore down the city walls and took us Israelites captive to Babylon. All of this happened because the people disobeyed God. That's right. But God is a loving God and He promised that even if His people disobey Him a hundred times, He will still redeem us if we turn back to Him. Yes, He will. Redeem means to buy back, right? God wants to buy his people back because he is a loving, forgiving, patient God. God redeems. Exactly. Not many years after the rise of Babylon, another empire rose up and allowed us to return to Jerusalem. That's right. The Persian king. Wait, what, what was his name again? King Cyrus allowed us to return home. Later, King Artaxerxes allowed Nehemiah to come home to rebuild the city walls so we are safe from our enemies who might attack us. God, look, there he is. He is probably here to inspect the walls. Hi guys, this section of the wall looks like it's going really well. Hi Nehemiah. We were just talking about you. Can you tell us what made you want to build the wall? You never told us this before. Yeah, of course. After I heard of all the, uh, the people of Jerusalem being returning to their home, and also how vulnerable they are because they didn't have a wall to protect them from the enemies around them, God spoke to me. I fasted and prayed to God and confess our sins and ask God to redeem us. And I remember what happens next. King Artaxerxes then allowed you to come home and even provided you with soldiers to keep you safe and wood to rebuild the wall. By the way, this wood you got us, this is good stuff. Well, I didn't really get us anything. It is God who provided all of us. God moved King Artaxerxes' heart and also moved everyone else's heart. Look at everyone, all the Israelites, working together to build our wall. Yeah, although it's pretty hot out, I'm really enjoying this. This wall will be so strong, so tall, and it will protect us from our enemies. Exactly. And also, that's part of the reason why I'm here today. I got news that our enemies are plotting to fight us Together, they're going to invade us. So per to prevent that from happening, I'm sending guards around the city day and night. And also, I'm sending out some weapons. Here, take some. Weapons? But I'm not a soldier. What will we do if they attack? Don't worry, daughter. God will protect us. That's true. Nehemiah, what will we do once the wall is completed? Well, I think we will have a big assembly with everyone. Ezra will read the law from God to all of us, and we will worship God together. Finishing the wall surely will be assigned to all the people that God redeems his people. 
Now, we still have a lot of work to do. Let's get back to work. Nehemiah and the people finished the wall in just 52 days. Because God was with them, and because God loved his people, he forgave them and brought them their city back to life. And brought them back into relationship with him, he redeemed their home and their hearts. God loves you too. He wants to redeem the broken places in your life and bring those places back to life. Would you let God enter your life? 